Hi there, this is Amanda from Simple Life of a Country Wife and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade granola. Now granola in my area in the grocery store is not super cheap in my opinion. Um, it often only comes in a small bag which with my growing children that will be gone in probably a day. So I like to make it myself. It only requires a few ingredients. You can customize it the way you want and it's a very, very frugal to make. So today, I wanna to show you how to make that. So let's get started. So I ended up making a half batch of this recipe, but I'm going to give you the full measurements to make a full batch because trust me, you're gonna to wanna to make a big batch of this stuff. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 300. Start the granola by adding 12 cups of oats into a big bowl and then you'll want to add one and a half cups of brown sugar. Next you'll add one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mix that all together really well. As you can see, I should have used a bigger bowl, so note to self, next time get a bigger bowl to make less of a mess. In a separate bowl, add 3 fourths cups of canola oil and 2 teaspoons of vanilla and then half a cup of melted butter. mix that up. I use the same spoon because I like less dirty dishes. And now you're going to want to pour your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients and mix it till it's all really well combined. I like to use parchment paper on the bottom of my pans, especially because my pans have seen better days, but you can also just grease the bottom of a pan and that will prevent your granola from sticking. The next thing you're going to want to do is to pour some of the granola onto the pan. Make sure that the layer is not too thick and not too thin. If it's too thick, it won't cook through, and if it's too thin, it will burn. So this will take um, a couple of trays. Uh, for a full batch, I generally use four pans to cook it all. Pop it in the oven and you're going to bake that for about 25 to 30 minutes. The time will vary. Be sure to keep a close eye on it. While the granola is cooking, you won't want to be too far from the oven as granola burns pretty quickly and burnt granola is pretty gross, so stay close by. I have this couch in my kitchen and so I just do an activity while I am waiting for the granola. Now you'll want to stir it halfway through. I do it at about 15 minutes in. You just want to make sure that it's going to bake evenly and that it's not going to burn. Once it's done, you're going to want to let it cool, and then after it's cool, you can add in extras if you want. I like to add in raisins, but you can add in chocolate chips as well, or whatever your heart desires. 
that's really all there is to it. Store it in an airtight container so that it will last. And you can find the recipe for this granola listed below in the description. Thanks for watching.